Okay, we begin learning five minutes of tefillah each and every day. We ended off yesterday, as we mentioned, five minutes. We ended off yesterday understanding the importance of time. And we pointed out that every single person throughout the course of their day, throughout the course of their week, and throughout the course of their lives, spend so much time davening, whether it's a half hour shachris, an hour, Shabbos, whether it's even a few minutes, Mincha, Mayriv, there's so much time we're spending davening. So Shem Shem Pinka has taught us, so it's Kedai, it's worthwhile, it's an investment. Spend a little bit of time each and every day, and then all that grander and larger time will be elevated. And today he continues, and he explains to us, a fundamental idea in the way our lives and our days have been scheduled by Chazal. Chazal, in their infinite wisdom, have decided that every single day you will do one action every single day of your life. No, it's not Tyra. Talmud Tyra Kenegi Kulam is true, but there might be days that due to whatever extenuating circumstances, you don't really dive in. Whether you don't really learn, excuse me, whether you don't learn at all, or whether perhaps you learn the bare minimum. What's that? You say Elu Dvarim every morning. And with that, you're Yahid say the bare minimum of Talmud Taira. But when it comes to Tfilah, Chazal have instituted that we dive in Shachris, we dive in Mincha, we dive in Mayrif. Chazal have designed our days and our lives that never will a day or even part of a day go by without tefillah. In reality, it goes one step deeper in that even, let's say, a woman or one who's unable to daven still has the bare bone basic chiv of tefillah to say, thank you, Hashem, to say maidani every morning, whereas other obligations don't have that. But says of Shem Shem Pink is, what's the reason for this? From here we see that tefillah is like air to your lungs, he says. Just like none of us will be alive right now if we're not breathing. <laughs> there's no air, we can't breathe. Without air, we don't breathe, we don't live. Says of Shem Shem Pink, is quoting the Gemara in Shabbos, Daf Yud, tefillah is called Chaye Yesha'a, temporal life. What does that mean? That means it's like air. Without air, you can't breathe. It sustains us each and every moment of our day, of our life. And that is the reason why Chazal built into the, na- the nature and the natural order of each and every day that we have to daven. And he goes even deeper and he says if one doesn't daven, it's a question on his actual yahados, on his actual religiosity. That how's he not davening? How's he not connected to Hashem? That's how deep tefillah goes. And of course, loy hamisim Dead people can't praise God. So it's true that one might say, really, is feel that important? <laughs> well, yeah. Because the only time that you could praise Hashem is when we're living on this world. So focusing in on how critically important it is to realize that tefillah is the heir to our souls. And that line is probably enough to keep us moving in many, many situations. Realizing the only action we do daily is davening. Realizing that it catapults our tefillahs to the level of literally the air to our lungs. But then he continues and he says, okay, we understand all this. We got it. Tefillah is super important. It's on a pedestal. We understand that it's air to our lungs. We realize maybe that it's opening up the gates in heaven. We already contemplated that it's that which is going to bring Mashiach. So why is it so difficult? (laughs) Bottom line, we have a very, very difficult time davening. And this is a theme that will repeat itself and that will slowly come to have many answers. And one answer, says Hashem Shem is basically closing out this Pirkei Psicha, the preliminaries of prayer, which we'll conclude tomorrow, he says, is time. It's as basic as the clock is that which destroys our tefillahs. And in reality, through COVID, when many of us did not daven with Minyanim, when many of us realized that What time is there to daven is, you have all the time in the world, you have nowhere to go. We came to this realization that sometimes our biggest enemy is that clock. 
is the fact that tefillah is being run by someone else. This is a shliach seabird. It's too fast. It's too slow. It's a minute quick. It's a minute fast. We're one minute late. We're a drop early. So we're going to pick up on this detail tomorrow, but suffice it to say that the clock is such a killer when it comes to tefillah and realize that the air that we breathe is the tefillah that we say. Have a wonderful rest of your day.